And the association now which have sought to fill that void by erecting a plaque here on the former ballot site. It is indeed ironic to say that it was up to this very gate here, where we are now gathered, that the regiment finally departed under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Cormac Lawler, now retired, on this day 20 years ago. The regiment departed leaving behind what was not only a barracks, but was also a home for a family of officers, NCOs, donors, and civilians. <coughs> that day was like breaking up a family and taking their home, as some members of the units retired while others moved to different locations. The vast majority of the regiment were relocated to College Barracks Park in 1998, and in typical regimental fashion, not alone did they take up residence in their new post, but they eventually went on to become the lead unit with responsibility for the entire post. As part of today's proceedings, we had to research historical references regarding Murphy Barracks, and we contacted military archives in Dublin and asked two questions. One, when was the barracks first occupied by the Irish Defence Forces, and what was its official name? The following was the response from military archives. Question one. We have to look through what material we have regarding the takeover of Ballincollig Barracks. The anti-treaty forces first took it over in 1922, and when they were retreating from the town, they burned the barracks in mid-August of that year. The land was taken over by national forces, but the barracks was not rebuilt at this stage. It was leased out for grazing. A military post was opened there in early 1940, and in 1943, elements of artillery transferred there. The third FAR are mentioned to have been sent to Ballincollig for demobilization purposes in 1945, with the first FAR, which was formed in 1944 in Clonmel, and the second FAR following in June of that year. In mid-1946, the remaining personnel from these three regiments were combined as a reborn first speed artillery regiment. The second question is a more difficult one, because each source we look at seems to disagree with the one before. Its name in Irish has always been Dooney Vercada, and since 1958, which would translate as Murphy Barracks. But we have seen Leo Murphy Barracks mentioned a few times, and even Walter Leo Murphy Barracks. The information was taken from three different articles about the history of the barracks and the field artillery regiment. I'm personally confident that we will be questioned and possibly corrected by some of our members on those answers. And now to today's proceedings. The First Field Artillery Regiment Association was formed in 2013 by like-minded serving personnel that identified a need to keep in contact with former members of the regiment and to seek to maintain contact between past and present members, fostering mutual friendship between them and providing social, suitable gatherings. Furthermore, to maintain the traditions of the regiment, to publicize and disseminate information concerning the history, needs, and the customs of the regiment. The association has grown in strength since then, with a current membership of 90 people. And it was suggested recently that we should somehow mark the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the ballot closure, and hence the plaque we are unveiling here today. We approached Jim O'Leary of Castle West Shopping Centre and asked for his help on this, and we set up a meeting with Starbucks, who are now the owners of this building. Not alone the Starbucks allows to place the plaque on their building, but they also sponsor it. And I have to take this opportunity to thank Georgina Trey here for this very generous gesture. I'd also like to thank Jim O'Leary for allowing us the use of the plaza on the shopping centre today, the band of one brigade for providing the musical entertainment view, and to thank the officer commanding NCO and Gunners of the 1st Brigade Artillery Regiment for providing an artillery display here today. I've been now kindly asked Colonel Tim Daly and the Twelfth Sergeant Stephen Geary to come forward and unveil the plaque.
In, remember, in remembrance of those members of the Defence Forces that had served here in Murphy Barracks and have passed away, I would like to invite retired Sergeant Major Pat O'Driscoll to come forward and to lay a wreath in their memory. I invite you all to stand for a moment's silent prayer and reflection for those that served and who have passed away and who are no longer with us. May they rest in peace. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the association's mission here today. But I want to thank my fellow committee members and all our association members for their help in today's ceremony. And finally, we would like to invite you to District 11, formerly Sam's Bear, for some light refreshments at the conclusion of the event, where I'm sure many a war story, whether truth or mistruth, will be told. We'll meet the Margaret Villiers. Did they get, you got an old job again to do? Thank you. 